Hi folks, welcome to another Chip Rick. Happy Friday. There's no business lesson here, just a ton of stuff I wanna catch you guys up on. We've been into a ton of cool projects, that videos to come. We finally finished our reverse osmosis distribution system that will does auto top coolant top off for the Haas. It's working pretty darn well. The Haas has been screaming. We've got a video we'll put out, but we're now running eight stations. I hope you guys love this as much as I do. We're doing midstream probing on all these parts, putting out great parts. Noah's actually over here cleaning them up right now. These are the mini pallets that we make. Uh, we got a bunch to ship out, but they're turning out beautiful and it's just awesome. All roll, roll tapped and reamed holes, um, really good fits. We picked up a linear height gauge. One of the lessons, we need to do like a Haas update video on kind of all the ancillary stuff, but we were doing some bigger work and I had to QC it. Like I just realized you can't not be able to do it. Every Friday morning for about a year, John Grimsma and I talk, and long story short, the conversations have been great as the, talking to a fellow entrepreneur, learning, going through the goods, the highs, the lows, all that. We realized about uh, two months ago that we should be sharing this as a podcast. So I'm super excited to announce John Grimsman and I have released a podcast called The Business of Machining. Link in the video description, but we've already got the two episodes out. We've got more pre-recorded uh, and we talk every Friday morning. So every Friday you guys get a new 20, 30 minute episode that's very candid. It's really just a conversation that's private between John and me that we decided hopefully it helps you if you're a fellow entrepreneur or you love hearing what we talk about it. It's machining, it's business, it's it's cash flow, it's knives, it's parts. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Super excited for the open house. Already starting to get into ready mode. It's not until May, uh, but want to give a shout out to American Rotary. They're hosting a contest that ends at the end of February. Link in the video description where long story short, if you're a US, I believe lower 48 resident, they are picking up your flight and hotel to our open house as a contest. So to enter into that contest, link in the video description to do that. But again, thanks to them, super cool. We're also hosting a scraping class in June with Richard King, the same class that I took down in Georgia. Uh, not too many spots left, link in the video description. We'll open it up to like the bigger audience, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up and a chance to sign up for that. Uh, if you're interested, it's a five day class. It's not cheap, but it was in Incredible. We'll include a card uh, here to our video on that class if you want to see more about what it is. It's running. Folks, take a look. Hydraulic pump. Oops, I gotta turn it on. <laughs> the one thing that's we gotta fix, we got a button that's kind of bad, so we, we built a little stop that holds the button down. Look. I already ground apart. We actually got a video coming out on it. Yes, so cool. Speaking of precision, we are gonna host a plate party. What's a plate party? Well, I've been learning that it does you no good to own surface plates if you have no idea how accurate they are. I own three of them and every single one of them I bought at auction. I have no idea how good it is. Uh, the quote that we got was $475 to come to our shop, calibrate and lap in three plates. And I talked to the guy and I said, hey, do you mind if we have other people that are in the area bring their plates over? So you can drop your plate off here and come back and pick it up or you can come uh, when we host it. I don't know exactly when it will be. It will definitely be before June because that's when we're hosting the scraping class. But if you want to have a surface plate lapped as small or right, practically as big as you can get, obviously it has to be movable here, uh, shoot me an email, that'll be best, or Facebook or Instagram, get a hold of me and let me know. If we get enough plates, which I think we will, I'm hoping, knock on wood, it'll be under $120 per plate. And yes, it'll depend on the size. A small plate is cheaper than a big plate. Finally, speaking of the Haas, we've been trying to have that machine running between about 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. every night. And we've actually been doing it, which is cool. But I'm realizing, I can't believe how quickly I'm realizing it, that spindle time is really important, like really important. And the time it takes us to change parts sometimes is could across a whole day could mean a whole nother batch of parts. So one of the things we're starting to do now is we're gonna be switching over to using the orange vice bodies as bases for fixture pallets. So this is material from Alro. Buying that much of it, which is about two sticks, I can get it saw cut for about the same price as I can get the whole sticks delivered, which means I don't have to saw cut it. And that stuff's heavy to move around, even though our DeWalt does do a pretty darn good job on it, to heck with it. I've now got six inch 
by two inch by 20 inch blanks that are ready to go up on the Haas. So we're gonna do a video hopefully next week uh, showing how we machine one of those into a fixture. The, the orange vise uh, screw still holds it down, but it just sits on top. And we're gonna have, we've already got two that are designed up, uh, one with Mighty Bites, the other's a little bit unique. So more to come on that, folks. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. It's a beautiful day here in Ohio. Take care, see you soon.